Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another live video here at my YouTube channel. Today is day 14 of the holiday card series and we're gonna have a lot of fun today with some products from Honey Bee Stamps. So heading into today's card, I'm gonna be using these two stamp sets from Honey Bee. I'm using Merry Little Mice and then there is a coordinating sentiment set that goes with it called Merry Christmas Mouse, almost like Christmas, but Christmas Mouse. So um, these are gonna go so together. I'm going to start out, in fact, you know what? I'm planning, if I've got time, I'm gonna make a coordinating envelope that goes with this card, because the card's gonna be pretty simple, but by keeping it simple, then I have time for an envelope. I'm gonna start with the tree. I'll stamp that down making sure it's in the corner really tight just in case I need to stamp it twice, which I probably will need to stamp it twice. Like, let's be honest. I usually have to stamp twice. <laughs> Stampin' Bug Glider right there. It looks pretty good. It's a pretty good image, but I want it to be really, really black. So I'm gonna stamp again. This is why I'm glad I have my Misty going here. But I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could die cut these out. <gasps> oh, that is a really good idea. Cause I do have the dies. We're gonna die cut these now. Oh, it left a little mark. I'm gonna die cut these out and then I can do a little bit of ink blending behind the die cuts for a little extra color. I like that idea. Some Copics, so I've got N2 and N4. On this cold December day we are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song Barreling through the snow Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling Rudolph knows where to go On this cold December day I am piloting my sleigh The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy. So giddy up, root of my dear. Eight pair of empty On words ever go. All right, we need the little candy cane guy and we need the tree. I'm using some easy see tape to hold this in place while I run it through my die cutting machine. 
so cute. I think it's magical after you colored something and you pop it out of the dye. Oh, so cute. Oh, I like that. Now I can kind of layer it over a little bit. Have it right there. The greeting. Right there. I'm going to switch to a different type of ink that's waterproof because I'm going to do some um, blending over the top. So I want to make sure I have a waterproof ink so there's no like smearing. So I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is the Crystal Kaleidoscope stencil. And I'm just going to kind of get it positioned down here. And I'll hold it in place with some of that tape. I'll be using a blending brush from Waffle Flower and the color Marine from Simon. This is one of their new colors that just came out. And I just want like a nice blue in the center of the card. All right, let's test to make sure we have enough color because that's gonna go right there. That'll go right there. Yeah, I think we've got enough color. Fill this up. Pretty cute. Now I want this to have an even more faded out look. So I'm going to just kind of blend a little bit over the top. All right, we'll put that right there. And then we've got our little mouse. Let's see, where do I want it? Kind of have to like, hold it up and kind of look at it. <laughs> Put a little bit of white on the little, I don't know if those are beads or what they are on the tree. They just this little decoration. Oh yeah, it needed that white. So cute. And then I'm going to go ahead and add just like a little, a little highlight on the bulbs. Okay, so that is an A2 sized card. And I have my envelope punch board here. Now so I've already cut my cardstock to eight and one quarter. I'm going to pull out the swing out arm and I'm also going to grab the, the score tool that they include. Also on the chart that's on the, on the door, it tells you um, punch guide, a punch guide measurement. And for this one, it says three and five eighths. So I'm gonna find three and five eighths up here. They have everything measured, even the eighths. And then I'm gonna take the bottom of these two lines and I'm just going to score at a diagonal going up to that corner. This is pretty thick cardstock. It's 80 pound, but it'll look great. So now I have this one line, this score line, and I'm gonna match it up with this line right here. They've labeled it envelope score groove. So I'm gonna put the score line right in that groove and you can kind of wiggle it in and feel it. And then I will score from that bottom score line again, all the way up to the top. Oh, I totally forgot to punch. You punch at each one of these two. I'll have to come back around and punch that corner or punch that last corner. Okay, so now I have my basic envelope figured out. On the stamp set, there's this cute mouse at the bottom and it looks like he could be holding a little envelope and then there's a mailbox. I thought that was so adorable.
to draw a snowflake just right here. Just because I want a little bit of something extra on the mailbox. I think that's pretty cute. That one's a sticker. This one's not. I've got to add a little bit of moisture to the back. I believe I have water brush with water in it. Perfect. And then I can just add water to the back. And then onto my envelope. So here is my card and envelope for day 14 of the holiday card series. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a lot of fun, um, a really easy way to have a matching envelope and card set. I think it turned out great. Thanks so much for watching today. I will be back on Friday with day 15 of the holiday card series. Um, it's a really good one. <laughs> I already have it filmed and it's ready to go. So I hope you guys come back and watch for day 15. Thanks for watching tonight and I'll see you guys another video very soon. Mm -hmm.